Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Sunday morning and the 20th week after Pentecost. And it's a special day. Uh, so since it's the 18th of October, that means it's St. Luke's Day. Um, and, you know, St. Luke wrote the book, uh, the Gospel of Luke, as well as the Book of Acts. So uh, we celebrate him today. Um, so uh, I hope that you're able to join us later for our regular worship service on, on Sunday. And um, I'm so glad you're with us now. So let us begin. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my Amen. mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O oh, come, let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us give him presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship thou down and bend a knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm today, oh, give glory to God our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 139. Lord, you have searched me out and know me, and you know my sitting down and my rising up, and you discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journey and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O Lord, know it all together. You press upon me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too high that I cannot attain to it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make a grave in my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uppermost parts of the sea, even there your hand will lead me and your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your words are wonderful, and I know it well. My body was not hidden from you while I was being made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes behold my limbs, yet unfinished in the womb. All of them were written in your book. They were fashioned day by day, when as yet there was none of them. How deep I find your thoughts, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I were to count them, they would be more in number than the sand. To count them all, my life span would need to be like yours. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God. You that thirst for blood, depart from me. They speak dis, uh, dis, uh, des, despitefully against you. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those, O Lord, who hate you? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with a per, per, perfect hatred. They have become my own enemies. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my restless thoughts. Lord, uh, look well whether there be any wickedness in me, and lead me in the way that is everlasting. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, when you descended among the dead, you brought them to light of day. When you ascended into heaven, you brought it new radiance. Remain with us and lead us uh, along the path of life until we come to rest with your saints in the holy dwelling place, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, on this St. Luke's Day, on this 18th of, uh, of October, we have a reading from Isaiah, chapter 52. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good tidings, who published peace, who bring good tidings of good, who publishes salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Hark, you watchmen, lift up their voice. Together they sing for joy, for eye to eye they see the, the return of the Lord to Zion. 
Break forth together into song, you waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has barred his holy arm before the eyes of all nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Acts, the first chapter, beginning with the first verse. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dwelt with all the uh, all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking of the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from me. For John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the time of seasons when the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Almighty God, who inspired your servant Luke, the physician, to set forth in the gospel the love and healing power of your son, graciously continue in your church this love and power to heal to the praise and glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, I didn't go through the other one, did I? In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has, set his peop- he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to the the Father, and to the the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Well, we had our prayer of the day and our morning prayer. So, Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, I'm so glad you joined Tom and I on this Sunday morning. And like I said, I hope you stay tuned for our regular worship service uh, that will be on very shortly. And God bless you, and I hope you have a great day and hope to see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.